Today, I attempted to make a railgun that could shoot across this entire 3,000 foot map and kill a guy standing on the other side of it. Is it possible to shoot a bullet that far? Well, let's find out. Here we are. I mean, I pretty much explained everything in the intro, but I do want to quickly test something that I think is pretty relevant. What I just want to test is if any of these guns can actually hit a person from 3,000 feet away, because I'm going to shoot the gun from right here. It needs to shoot all the way across and hit a guy that's right here. So before we make the real gun, I want to quickly see if a normal gun can just shoot the guy from that far away. So I'm inspecting him. So in the top right, you can see how this guy's health is. And if he gets shot, it'll tell us. But we'll just see. Obviously, we'll start out with like a short range thing, like a shotgun. I really highly doubt that any of these bullets are gonna make it over there i'm gonna shoot the thing like 500 times so like maybe a bullet just by pure chance well, let me really maybe just by pure chance why is it not going off hello maybe just by pure chance one of these bullets will hit him whoops surely one of these bullets is gonna make it over to him right this is gonna be a loud sound by the way no not a single bullet well maybe it's still traveling no i'm gonna say that zero bullets hit him oh oh no way no way <laughs> Five bullets made it over there. Okay, so if you shoot a shotgun about 10 different times, you'll eventually get over there and hit him. That's crazy. The bullet literally took a full second to get over to him. All right, well, that's some good information to know. If you're ever in a battle, just shoot a shotgun a good 500 times and you'll hit a person. Well, that's good news for us, I guess. Maybe we'll move up to the humongous map if this is too easy. But with that out of the way, let's just start the challenge right now i mean let's just do it so obviously i need to build the railgun itself and i think for that all i want to do is hello classic i-beam rails here just like that and as usual i'm going to use destructible wiring and everything to make this challenge as difficult and tedious as possible i hope that's good i don't know what should our projectile be preferably something light right or lighter like a bowling ball a bowling ball would be good don't you think like i could put a bowling ball in here it's got some oomph to it if i got a bowling ball moving pretty fast i'm sure it'd kill a person now, my first instinct is obviously just to put some TNT in here and just kind of launch it via explosion. So let's try that. Uh-oh. Okay, activating TNT right now. Let's see how far it goes. Okay, we're rolling pretty quick here. Uh, still cooking pretty fast. Um, where... Oh my god, no way did that just work first try. Okay, well, the guy isn't dead, per se. His legs are broken, which isn't the goal. He needs to be dead. So, uh, this is a good sign. This is this challenge might be really easy. Well, we didn't technically beat it yet, but what I think I need to do... Okay, so I mean, it hit the guy, just didn't kill the guy. So what my new idea is going to be is obviously just to use industrial piston, but that's way too big. Is that going to be able to fit in there? There we go. Slides in just like a glove. Strap this thing down just like so. Industrial generator on top. And honestly, I think the best idea here, what if I just loaded this thing up with bowling balls? I'm sure one of them would hit. Or should I only have one? Nah, we'll load it up. Makes better content. Just load this thing up with bowling balls. Now, I don't know which ball to follow, I guess, because there's going to be a lot of them. So we're going to go in slow motion here and we're going to launch it and all the bowling balls... <laughs> <laughs> have been released. They are flying, I'll tell you that much. I mean, if the guy doesn't die, he'll she'll be in a world of hurt. Here come the bowling balls. They're cooking pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. This video, I never I, I never test these ideas beforehand, so I didn't know if this was gonna be difficult or not. It definitely is not gonna be very difficult. Well, they are still rolling on the ground, which not gonna kill them, unfortunately. Well, there's no person here. Okay, uh, whoops, there's no person here. Pretend there's a person here. Oh, shoot, there's a bowling ball from before. Oh, Okay, well, he's on the ground now, and here come more right in the head. That guy is dead in four and a half minutes. The bowling, <laughs> the other bowling balls are slowly making their way over here, adding insult to injury. Here they come. Oh, some of them are hot. Are we good? Okay, well, the guy died. That was actually really easy. Oh, there's still some more coming through here. Are they all, are we done? Okay, so this one took me four and a half minutes to beat. So obviously the, 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 the best thing to do here is to move to the humongous map. How big is the humongous map? It's quite sizable, isn't it? Yeah, this might this might be impossible. Not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm gonna get a projectile to get that far, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, don't worry. Before we even start building the railgun, though, I need to go place our person on the... Oh, good God, this is a big map. We need to put our person down right here, and now I gotta travel all the way back over here, and let's start a railgun. Shoot. Shoot. What? What are we doing here? It will give me a second. Okay, so idea. What if I loaded this thing up with crossbow bolts? Because hear me out, these things are meant to fly, right? Shoot. Crossbow bolts are meant to fly straight because they're shot out of a... Cr they're meant to fly straight, so I assume that if I just loaded this thing up with them, that it would work. Now, there's a good chance that this just doesn't work. And I'm completely... Holy crap, those things are electrified. Okay, slow down time here. Launch the... 
Oops. Okay. Well, I'm sure some of those are flying pretty nice there. Um, yeah. So these electric crossbow bolts, uh, hopefully will fly across the map to a person very far away. I mean, I'm kind of trying to follow the one that's going the furthest, but there's so many of them. It just looks like confetti on my screen. I guess it's probably just a better idea just to go to the person and see if anything meets us over here. Oh, and there's no person. What happened to him? Uh, okay. Pretend there's a person here. Let's just sit here for a bit. Maybe a crossbow bolt will head on by and I can beat this challenge in under 10 minutes. That'd be a mushy... Was that an explosion? How fast are these things going? Oh my god! Well, I don't know what to say because I uh, beat the challenge in uh, 10 minutes. Okay, quick change of plans. So I think what made this really easy is the sheer amount of bullets that I just used to kill this man, all right? So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm only gonna allow myself one projectile. I have to keep making this more difficult because apparently this challenge was way easier than I originally thought it was going to be. So new rule, I can only use a single projectile. So I need to figure out a way that I can only use one projectile to kill a person. Now my actual idea that I just came up with as I was talking to you guys is what if I just took a crossbow bolt and I uh, made it really big? This is really stupid, but who knows? A lot of unexpected expected stuff has happened in this video, so maybe this will work. Okay, well, it's it's flying. It's just kind of bouncing. I'm concerned it's gonna stick into the ground. Cooking on the ground right now, like literally cooking. I mean, it's on fire pretty much. How hot is this thing? Okay, we are coming to a halt. How far did this bolt go? How far are we out still? Oh, we are a long, long ways out. All right, well, that was a decent test. How did the, did the piston itself get launched out the stupid thing? How did the piston end out all the way? Okay, whatever. So that did not work. My next idea, what if I just had a knife? Just, just a knife. I think this could possibly work. Okay, we shot the knife out. <laughs> there goes the piston, if you got to see it. The piston literally ejects itself from the machine. Knife is flying. Hopefully it doesn't stick in the ground because that'll end its path quite quickly. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're bounced really high there. We are still cooking kind of fast. The knife is not heating up like the arrow did. We are not even within viewing distance of the guy. In fact, we are still very far out. Now, my idea is a quite the explosive one. What if I took a bowling ball and took, per se, 500 grenades, and I just shoved this thing full of them? Wait, should I use something more explosive? What if I put the Zard Bomba in this joint? Is this bowling ball gonna reach the dude? I mean, this might be the end of the video. I'm kind of already anticipating that this railgun is easy to make from what I thought it was gonna be, but let's launch the Zard Bomba. There goes the bowling ball. Hopefully the guy didn't get killed just from the Zard Bomba alone. Oh my god, I think the guy just got ripped to shreds. Yeah, he did. The bowling ball hit him. I didn't even... What just... The dude... What just happened? The bowling ball got ejected. It hit the guy, and the guy's now on fire. What just happened? The I-beams are 88,000 degrees. This is absolutely insane. This might be the easiest challenge I've ever done before. I don't know how I can make this any more difficult. I don't know what else to... <laughs> Subscribe and like, comment your ideas. This is a mushy poulter video if there's ever been one before. Goodbye.